Greetings, dapplings, and welcome to a new series for the channel where I'm going to be diving back into Raft to check out what's changed since our very earliest peak at the game in development, now that the game has reached full release. But I'll not be venturing the vast, shark-infested waters alone. Lady Sheila will be joining me for this particular oceanic adventure. But before we get started, what is Raft? If you're unfamiliar, Raft is an open-world survival game with a very strong focus on exploration and crafting. Set in a flooded world, we'll start off with a few planks lashed to empty plastic containers adrift on the ocean. And from there, we'll need to scavenge materials to expand said raft, secure a supply of food and fresh drinking water, which is a lot more complicated, as well as fend off an infuriatingly persistent shark, all the while researching better tools and uncovering more about what happened to the world. You could compare it to Subnautica, but above the waves, with far more base building and much less sci-fi horror. If this all sounds like your cup of tea, which you totally have with it right now because you wouldn't dream of sitting down to one of my videos without one, then do let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you'd like to check out the game from Lady Shelab's perspective, you can find a link to her channel in the video description, along with the way you can pick up the game for yourself. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the game. Hello, Avak. Hello. Okay. Finally, Jump Sheila in, is here. Jumping. Jump yes, in. jumping. The Jump universal in. sign of greeting in every game forever. Okay. So, <laughs> we've got a very small little rut. How we got here? Who knows? That is a that is a mystery for another time, I think. We're really grateful for these four pieces of wood. <laughs> yes, though it would be great if we could expand them. Um, for now, yes. I would say expand them in a square. So uh, from two by two, three to three by three to four by four. Uh, once yeah, we get to okay. five by five, I think at that point we can start thinking more of changing the shape. But I think we want to get to yeah. five by five at least. Okay. All right that then. So thankfully, uh, for now, plenty of salvages heading our way. Um, what should we prioritize in making, Sheila? What do you think is the most high priority items to acquire? Okay, so uh, we have a full bar of food and water, so I think we'll be okay for that for now. Um, I think there will probably be islands coming up soon that we might be getting stuck on, so a paddle would be in, uh, useful, and so oh, would yeah, a... Oh yeah, definitely a paddle, yeah. Spear for fighting off the shark. Yes, yes. It's very tempting, I think, to go for items like uh, that would allow us to purify water and get food, but that's not going to be a big concern for a little while. Uh, definitely, though, some way of dealing with the shark is a must, because the shark is going to become a problem for yeah, us long if before water does. If start to get low, we place them as well. Yep. Well, ah, uh, I almost got a two for. It has been an age since I played this game. Shelab has played it much more recently than I have. So I do apologize for any obvious mistakes I make, viewers. I am horribly out of practice. Pretty much when I did my first taste coverage of the game. Well, I'd say first taste. It ended up being like 11 episodes long. Back in 2018, I think it was. That is the last time I played this game. I have sort of kept up with its development. Yep. Ah, I don't know. That's setting me up for a big failure there. Thanks, Sheila. <laughs> but uh, I've sort of kept up with with development. Oh, that was way overshot. Um, simply because I've seen other people playing it here and there. But I have not had the the uh, pleasure myself for a while. Oh, wow. We're going straight towards an island. I completely flopped that. Yeah. Uh, all Why right. I'm let's have a quick like look. A, how are we doing for materials for making a paddle? I'm going to focus on yes, making a uh, a spear to deal with our sharky friend. Okay, and I will focus on a paddle then. Okay. She needs a little bit more plastic, go. I think. It's always useful if you can just allow the items to come to us. Uh, making a wider, a wider raft sooner is going to be very useful in that regard. Yeah, it is. Right, there we go. I now have a weapon, so that's going to be snag this super plastic, useful. And I will have a paddle. All right. So the crafting in this game very, very easy. If you haven't seen this before, if you're coming to Raft brand spanking new, well, first and foremost, I hope you're going to enjoy because this is an incredibly chill game with moments of high tension. Um, and despite the big, you know, blue yonder sort of feel of it, it's not 
not as intensely. I'm going to drown as Subnautica for those of you who worry about such things. I, I think this one will probably be a little bit easier on your on your frayed nerves. Uh, but there are moments yeah. of, of high tension here and there, kind of sprinkled throughout. Uh, did you manage to make a, a paddle? Made. Oh, it fantastic. Okay, I will hold off on that one for now then. Uh, I am going to see about making a... Oh, damn it. Making a... Sorry, I missed that plastic. Making a a, a hammer. Sorry about that, chat. Making a making a yeah making each a, time. Making a making a. Hoping, I do that all the time. <laughs> hoping that I would catch that piece of plastic, but no. You know, waiting with bated breath. Nope. Uh, Sheila, your feet are Whoa. being eaten. Sheila, very Apologies. very very brave. There. It's like ah, look. I know that the shark is trying to eat my feet, but there is stuff I need to collect. Uh, yeah. There is also. A cave down there. Wow, the the terrain has changed. Right, I'm gonna go for this island, Shelab. I may be eaten by a shark. Okay. Uh, it looks like I'm not being, which oh, I'm very gosh, glad about. I'll see if I can get any food on here. Right now, early game, we are pretty much at the uh, mercy the of the okay. the winds. Okay, I've managed to get a couple of watermelons. That'll give us both water and food for a little bit but if I had an axe I'd be able to do a little bit more uh, how's the raft doing Shelab? it's gone around the island unfortunately that's fine. I was no, hoping, no, 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 hoping that's it fine. would stick on it but it hasn't stuck anywhere uh, that's fine if I can see where you are don't actually I'm see I'm on the you. other side of the island to you to where you were uh, it's gone all the way around really fast oh I can see you, no no that's fine it's fine it's fine uh, that's, that's actually perfect. I can jump basically onto you. Uh, which I hope I can do quickly. Uh, not quite fast Wait, enough. I should have timed oh. it a little bit better. But that's okay. No, that's okay. You did a good job. Did you manage to get anything? Uh, yeah, I managed to get three watermelons and two watermelon seeds, which I'm really happy oh, about. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Well done. Yeah. Uh, still, I didn't have an axe, so I wasn't able to get any planks. Uh, right now, early game, we yeah, are going to be completely fine. at the mercy of the tide. It's not uh, like there's no planks in the ocean. <laughs> that, that is a good you know? point, though it's also a scary point. It's like, what on earth happened to this world? <laughs> yeah. Now, given that Raft is released, hopefully Why we'll find out. Really but packed. we'll see. We will see. Who's uh, drinking out of all of these water bottles? I, I mean... And throwing them in the sea. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, they're like... They're like uh, um, sev well, I, I'm not even sure how many of these. Like 10 litres at least water bottles. Uh, nothing is close by, unfortunately. Now, one of the things I seem to recall from my first foray into Raft is that the wind... It's, it's not like the world is actually infinite and the wind is just always driving you where the wind is driving you. It, it's more like stuff is floating towards you. Whatever direction you're moving in, the stuff will start floating at you. But it takes a little bit of time for that to happen. So where Sheila was using the paddle to change the direction of the, the raft, a lot of stuff was spawned such that it, it would cross paths with the raft on its original heading. So now, now that we've had a little bit of time, stuff is now a little bit more in the direction that we're going. So uh, we'll start yeah. to be able to get some more stuff. But it's an interesting thing about raft. I always found that a little bit... Well, it wasn't really intuitive. I was, I was often a little bit confused on trying to work out whether I was going to cross paths with something or not, and it, it often came yeah, down so to... Yeah, so you don't actually need to go towards things. You just need to wait until the things come you just, towards yeah, you. Yeah, you just need to wait long enough and things will start moving in your direction. Uh, I need some ropes, and I think I've got Sucky. enough to make that. Okay, I've managed to make a hammer. And with very a good. hammer, I should, if I'm very lucky be able to start making uh, repairs to the raft. I really love the building in this game. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Uh, ooh, we've got some new... That, is that a chest of drawers or...? No, no, it's, a, it's, it's some a sort of case. It's a tasty box. It's a tasty box. Have you been in the water it's licking boxes, box. Sheila? My lord. I, oh, man. She loves tasty books. 
<laughs> it appears that she lab has uh, used her time practicing this game to great effect. Well done, you. Uh, I will not enjoy any tasty boxes. There is an island over to our left, it seems. A reasonably sized island there. Uh, but I don't know if we'll be able to get over there. It I have a beet. Would you like me to make a planter box and plant it? Uh, I have two beets. So if we made a planter box for beets, then yes, we'd be able... Yeah, but the there's no point in making that. it until we've got uh, water. Because you need fresh water to water it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I mean, we you could make a hope super good point there. for rain... But it's then we'd just be guarding it and hoping that rain would eventually come. Yes. No, uh, that's a very do you good have much point. plastic? I have a little bit, but not very much. Four pieces, five pieces. Okay. Do you have much wood? Get, get him! Off. Get him! Get him! It would go a lot faster if you also had a spear. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, worth I'm working on it. I need to make more ropes, and then I should be able to get one. Uh. I can drop three ropes for you. There you go. No, no I've already made oh, the okay. ropes. That's cool. Fine. I was just, I just needed a minute to do it. <laughs> right, spear is made. Okay, shark just. Oh no, it's fine. I thought the shark took that off, but no, no, we're good. We are fine. And I have a building hammer. Excellent. We're starting to fill this and out a little bit now. Let's. Uh, I'm get gonna. A... I'm going to drop. One of the melons. Uh, sorry, the watermelons. There you go. It's right behind okay. you. Thank you very much. The nice thing about watermelons is they are two... You can eat um, eat them twice. Well, I mean, eat them twice. They, they, they are large meals. You can eat half at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up with your logic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but yeah, it, it's uh, large enough that it requires... Um, it's basically two meals, which is uh, not going to be very common for us early on. Do you have any palm leaves? I have two. How that would be need? perfect. If I could get two palm leaves, okay. I could make the water purifier. Yeah, there you go. Thank you kindly. Oops. We're going to need enough plastic then, and I've got a fair bit of plastic. We'll need enough plastic to make a cup, I believe, and I have made one cup. So if you can make the I'll water purifier, there, um, we can move it later if, if need yep. be. I will fill it with salt water, then place some planks there. Thankfully, we don't have to light the fire. We just have to have the fuel for it, and then it lights itself. Self-lighting fires. You know what? I suspect that may have something to do with why the uh, world has been destroyed <laughs> and is now completely yes, under the ocean. Yes, that would make sense. Right, I have a cup now as well for my water. Perfect. Hopefully. We don't need two of these for us. We should be able to comfortably manage with one, I should imagine. But two may make things a, a little, little bit while. better. Oh, I didn't manage to get that wood over there. You know what? It's probably going to be much more efficient if we're handling When the wood is sides. like side on, it's really hard to hook because it's really thin. Yeah, yeah, very much so. I need some more wood for that. I've got ample plastic right now, but I need more wood in general. I've got eight planks at the moment. What Sheila, do you need the wood for? There is some um, fresh water. You can have the virgin sip, as it were. Thank you. You're, You're very welcome. kind. I will top it up. So if we make the habit of, like, top it up anytime yeah. you take. That's, you uh... Always top it up. If you had a drink, then that's going to be perfect. You'll never run out. You can have it. Um, I wouldn't want to get between a she lab and her loot. Uh, right, the waves are starting to get a little bit more dicey, and this is actually kind of a, a neat effect because it really will change the the way that the game plays for a bit. Also, it's absolutely worth it if you can just reach something from the side of the raft, reach for it because there is a durability on the uh, on the hooks. And that will eventually yeah, they're not like super terrible because the plastic hook only takes one plank and two plastic to make so oh really not, that's like, actually usually. very fun i'm gonna make a spare though i'm just gonna have that in the back of my inventory straight away yeah i already have a spare um i would love to get some stones but i'm not sure where we're gonna get those that might take some time you get them sometimes in like barrels and chests yeah so. getting a oh there's a barrel that was lost Sheila, where is your barrel sense? What? Over there? That one? No, there's one. Well, one has already gone past. What? I've got <gasps> some. 
I know. How did that happen? I think it spawned after it went past. <laughs> That's right. Let's put it down to that. <laughs> Sheila would totally never have missed that. It's like Sheila's boss yeah. sense. It never goes wrong. Sheila's boss sense is infallible. You can, yeah, you can set you your watch by, by Sheila's boss sense. Yep. Aha. Okay, you, you're, <laughs> that one's okay. I totally nabbed that one away from you, so that's right. I got one piece of stone. That's very nice to see. Perfect. Good. Um, I will try How and make myself... How close are we to getting a grill? Oh, I can make a grill. Perfect. Oh, perfect. If you can just pop it next to the water, then, that'll be amazing. There we go. So we've got food and water, so that's a good start. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drink this fresh water and immediately refill. Now, at this point... Oh, Sharky is coming in with a vengeance. Nice work. It barely yeah. did any damage there. Barely did any damage. That was fantastic okay, work. Sharky. <laughs> okay. Right, well, next, then, we can probably throw down a planter. Let me have a quick look at what's involved in that. Oh, I can already make one. I'll make a planter, then. Perfect. I'll pop this planter right next to the grill and the water, since we're going to need that. And I can already pop down three beets. I'm gonna, uh, somewhere along the line, I accidentally filled up my... Oh, oh, of course, it's raining. Um, so that was already... Uh, that was fine. Nice rain keeps our plants watered without our needing yep. to worry about it. All right. Well, I'm fairly hydrated. Uh, we've got three beets on the grow. One on the grow. And there we go, another barrel incoming. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I'll try and grab that barrel if I can. Grab the I think I should be able to. Yep, gotcha. Okay, oh, I can now research an antenna. That's one of the things I really like about this game. It starts off really simple. It's, it's, it's like a lot of incremental games. You start off with just clicking a button, and then the next thing you know, you're running a village full of cats. This is kind <laughs> of like that. You start off with just this tiny little raft, and you're just kind of trying to grab various things from uh, the the nearby vicinity. Next thing you know, you're hunting down islands and trying to solve mysteries. And obviously, with this having been released, I imagine the mystery is now uh, fully explored and it's going to have a really cool... Uh, yeah, it's going to have some sort of really cool story there as well. I'm going to pop a potato on the grill. How are you doing for food? Oh, uh, not too great. Wasn't there already a beetle yep. there, or did you Here's eat that? Here's the beet. Oh, I was just checking if you were desperate for food or not. Yeah, I kind of was. I was getting below the, the yeah, threshold. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Uh, if you need water, go for it. I'm not going to need water for a little while, because I'm going to eat my watermelon. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm in danger of shark attack. I am very much in danger of shark attack, because I'm not faster than the... Oh, I'm not faster than the raft. Gee. Man, this is annoying. There we go. Yay! Oof, oh, I was, was actually, worried about you then. I was honestly a little bit worried. Oh, I can see why. I'd just dipped below the point where my uh, hunger was now making it difficult for me to function. Oh, right. So that's why that happened. It sucks. Have you got that uh, box? It's another... Absolutely. Island to the side. Right now, again, we are still very much... At the mercy of the tides and the and the current, we will we? build we? a sail probably quite soon. But let's make a proper area for that so that we can. Yeah. We've got a nice. Uh, we need a few more plants, idea a few more palm be. leaves. It's yet not too difficult to make though. There we go. How wide is this? Is a uh, this is now a five by three. Let's make it a five by four, perhaps, and stick the sail at the back. I think yeah. that would be a really solid plan. <laughs> she labs way ahead. Sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Just pick a side though, and then stick I'll to that side. I'll go on this side. side. I'll go on this oh, okay, side. you just added the other one. Do you want to reel that in? Because you've still got it stuck. There you go. You've still got. There we are. I don't know if that was actually uh, on your screen or just on mine, but it looked like you just hadn't pulled in the plastic and it was just stuck under the rail. Sometimes it does, yeah. It just gets stuck weirdly. Okay. Oh man, I'm going to have to go get that barrel. Sharky, get out of my face. Oh, uh, right. That is gone. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this game automatically puts items back in your inventory. All right, go around oh. the side. Go to the side of it. 
Or not. Okay, fair enough. Shelab is much better at doing that than I am. I struggled horribly with that. Right, I need to have... Oh. Oh, do you need that potato? Yeah. There you go. Thank Sorry. You. It's okay. Ah. Sorry, I'm having to get in your way, but I was... It gets Sorry. really difficult to control once uh, your hunger or your thirst is really low. This yeah, game is comically bad position. with that, because it takes so little time for you to get to the point of dying of thirst, and likewise so little time to get to the point when you're dying of hunger, but in real life you'd have a good long while. You'd have at least more than an hour or two, let's just put it that way. I mean, I guess the day is passing pretty quickly, but even within the scale of a day, you wouldn't get to pass out uh, pass out uh, dehydrated. Party over here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, you got, got it. Got it. There was a seagull on our food. But, uh, oh. yeah, you get to pass out dehydrated or pass out starving, like, within I don't know, half a day? Yeah. Well, actually, I no, I'd probably say a full day. A full day from the start of the game where you're completely full on everything. But there's the potato over there for you, Sheila. Ready for you to go. Oh, thank you. I needed that so bad. The uh, beets are on, on the way. But yeah, if we can get this fleshed out a little bit and then head over to an island, we can probably get plenty of food and also... Plenty of building materials, more to the point. Yeah. I didn't see that uh, the, make sure that the seagull doesn't go for our food. Oh, fantastic. Well, there we are. We've got six beets. Okay. And somehow, once again, I ended up with... Oh, never mind. Uh, I will need to wait for that water to be purified and then we will water the plants you need to use fresh water for it so it can be a bit rough early on rains obviously help yeah. but we should be okay for the time being is it okay for me to have this grilled potato absolutely yep that's fine i will also then I'll pop need down the a next piece of food that's fine there we go and the food is watered all right there's a beet on the cook now, there's a lot of other things that we're going to be able to build, but right now we're kind of locked to trying to manage our inventory for more important constructions. The yeah. leaves will be used for rope mainly, I imagine, until much later. Uh, I believe they can also have more than one shark now. I think I saw someone mentioning that on the Dapadel Discord, um, that there are now up to two sharks, amongst other there things. There are two sharks. I know, right? We will kill them both and eat their meat and mount their heads on spikes. See the difference between me and Shelab, viewers? You know, the first time I played this, I just wanted the, the shark to invite me to, to go out for like a cup of tea around their house. Shelab wants to mount their head. I was I, I lamented killing Sharky the first and Sharky the second and Sharky the third. It was a dark, dark day every time I had to slay a sharky. Shelab, though, bloodlust. Got to show who's boss. <laughs> See, establishing dominance. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, let's slide all of oh, these back barrels in. barrels coming up, so that's... There are a lot of barrels coming up, actually, yeah. Almost too many. How much plastic do you have? too many. Do you want to make a storage? Uh, no, no, actually, I was thinking more about uh, expanding out the rear of the the raft in order to get... I've got five plastic at the moment. Okay. There is a barrel right there. Good, you got it. Okay, I'm going to quickly... I don't have it. It's, like, too far. Pop down a couple more of these. There Might we go. Pull in the hook. Well, that one's coming straight towards us. That should be fine. Really want those leaves. I'm not going to get them, though. Oh, well. I'm just going to let that one approach. Uh, you've got that one, have you? Uh, another that cooked potato ready. Is that one yours? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll pop a beet on it. We're doing much better for food now. Yeah, I think I think we're getting to the stage now where the the this kind of game loop. One of the things I like about this game is, is that although it does have these moments of of high tension, they're kind of um, you know these notes of action. 
in an otherwise very melodic, uh, melodic uh, uh, flow of gameplay. There, there really yeah. isn't too much, uh, too much threat there. But there's no real pressing need to escalate the type of, of game you've got. As I was saying with, with incremental games, quite often, you know, you'll start off just clicking a button and then the next thing you're managing a town and going to space and, and you know, cracking planets open. Whereas in this, you, you can stay at this stage for as long as you want. If you want to prioritize, you know, just enjoying yourself and, and uh, the, the tight game loop of just gather stuff with your pl little plastic hook, you know, grow more crops. So, oh, I ate a beat, unfortunately. Uh, accidentally ate that without meaning to. But uh, you can absolutely do that. I'm going to get you off the ship, please and thanks. There we go. I need to that one. Uh, tonk. I've generally found that as long as you can take out a shark before... Uh, oh, sorry, if you, as long as you keep a uh, piece of the raft at about 80% health, and you don't flub too many of your attacks, you will kill the shark before it breaks the, that part of the boat. Generally speaking, that has been my experience. As long as they're like 85 or, or 80 plus, basically, you would have to be sleeping on the shark attacking it for it to, to take it out. But that seagull, wherever you are, is really worrying me. Oh, nice. See, that's very nice. Uh, let's have a look. Can I put together a, a sail? Yeah, I've got everything I need for a sail. I just need a nice. little bit more... Uh, a few more planks, and that's it, really. So we should be able to put that together really soon. I'll put it basically on the tile I'm jumping on. No! scoundrel I saw you uh, just on this tile right there in more or less in line with our little cooking station I think yeah, I that makes sense so it's sort of in the center of the five tiles yeah the one two three four. well actually six tiles across aren't we Oops. Uh, we it's okay. Meant to go for five by five didn't we yeah we can just make it a seven by she five she can't count it's all right. You, you get into that mood. That's what I was talking about. You, you can't just get into the into the game loop. It's really, really satisfying, this game. Right. That's all the beats done. Replanting them. I actually have all the stuff for the sale. Okay, we'll just pop it uh, here then. Yeah. I'll try and grab a little bit more plastic. Okay. Yep, that's perfect. Actually, I don't need to do that. Just so if we then say the sail is the center, so then we'll probably want yeah, a Yeah, we can more build up around the that then. Side. Yeah. I've got four stones. That's actually going to be good. Can I... Ooh. I need some more planks, but we're getting there. Right, now that we've got this, is there any particular direction you want to head in? Not at the moment. We'll just uh, okay. see we'll where just we Okay, we'll just keep your eye on go. the horizon, and if you spot anything out there that looks interesting, we'll start making our way in that direction. But we are now at the point where we are not solely at the mercy of the tides, which is a big thing. But there's no point yeah. in using the sail until we've got somewhere to be, I think. I'm happy for Absolutely. everything to be nice and gentle until then. Okay, well, I've got plenty of planks now at the very least. Start building this out behind Did so you? that we're not Ooh. easily going to fall. See, get off! <laughs> oh. Did you want to make beds at all? Uh, yeah, that would definitely be worth doing. Um, really we've got a, so many different... Th One of the things <laughs> with this game, I feel, is yeah. that there are, there's always something more that you want to make. Why did I throw it that, that, that far? That was a bit silly. Right, let's pull that in. There we go. Right. Trying to keep the water... Uh, the plants watered, rather. But that's... You're doing a good job of that. I've barely touched those plants, so you're doing a brilliant job gardening. Oh, welcome. Uh, do you need food? Um, do you need food? I've got about a uh, uh, like quarter of a well, not even quarter of a bar. Yeah, you go for it. It's fine. I'll put, I'll just get yeah. the next one. Get the next one. The main thing is just to keep it going. Is my biggest concern is to to make sure that we're not 
just being polite and like, oh, I won't eat it because Avak might need it more and I'm doing exactly the same thing. And so it doesn't get eaten and yeah. both of us just keep getting more hungry. I've got three uncooked yep. beets on me right now, so... We're in a, okay, we're in I've got no place. more uncooked food on me to add to the fire, so I'm relying on you for that for now. Okay. Um, but my hunger bar's at about just over a third. Duly noted. Full. So it's actually doing quite well. Because I just realised I still had that watermelon you gave me earlier. <laughs> that's fine. I'm glad that that's uh, serving you well. Let's pop these down. Okay, we're starting to fill this out now. It's it's not feeling quite as uh, claustrophobic as it was before. No, it's feeling much nicer. So, using the term claustrophobic, when we're out in the middle of the ocean with nothing around us, seems a little bit weird. Ooh, I just got a decoration package. What the heck is that? Um, Open it up. See what's oh, inside. There's a shark eating our stuff. I got a candle that stick, shark, I swear. He waited until I drank, like reached for my cup of tea. What a scoundrel. I Imagine know. waiting until someone is otherwise occupied drinking a cup of tea. And then Last night doing he would wait until, until I modded, until I was out tabbed out to do modding, and then he would like <laughs> sneak up and chomp some of the raft away. Naughty. Damn. But I must uh, admit, I admire the tactical the tactical sense of this shark. It, it's clearly a cut above the regular shark. Yes. Okay. Grab you as well if you can. Perfect. And we are almost now at the point where our... Yeah, we're just two more tiles away and we've got pretty much as much raft as I think we're going to need. Yeah. In fact, just two more plastic away from that now. I do need food, though. I'm slow and hungry. Pop this potato there. And I will have a drink. I've not been taking care of my water as much as I wish I had. Yeah, but that's always right. the thing with this, isn't it? You always yeah. going to kind of. get into other things and forget. So. All right, I'm going to put this uh, anchor right there. It's right behind the sail. So now we more... Oh, we look like we're heading straight toward something. It's the moon, I think. No, 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 no not the moon. <laughs> we are heading straight towards the moon. I mean... Look. Yes, okay. <laughs> I could have looked like something. Oh... Uh... Oh, she loved yes, you. There's wonderful. an island to the side truly, to the left of the moon. Truly wonderful. There is, there is an island to the left of the moon. I think it was just uh, out of my draw distance. At yeah, more than likely. I could see was the moon. <laughs> yeah, we're heading towards it. Ah, like, that's the moon. <laughs> but I, I, I know what the moon is. Uh, that was that was glorious. I love it. Uh, right there we go. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, uh, I've oh unfilled the sails and we are <laughs> heading now towards the island. We'll try and cast our anchor just a little bit shy of it. Ideally, we don't really want to be on a collision course for the island if we can avoid that because bad things happen in that in instance. And let's pop there down. There we go. We've now got a very large area for us to set things up. I think this should be ample yeah, for us. Yeah, we've got quite a nice functional raft. You've yeah. got all the things we need just to function. Mm -hmm. But now we've got room to sort of really I build. Need... Do you want to build some walls soon? Yeah, think? I think that would actually be really nice. I want to get together an axe this time. So I need another two planks and three stone. Is what we're going to need okay, next. Okay, here you go. Oh, you've got it? Oh, thank you so much. That's marvellous. Okay. Well, we now have the means then of going onto land and. I've got a decoration box. I wonder what's in there. Taking care of flag. a little bit of business there. We've got a flag. Oh, wow. We can start a country. We can colonize the moon. There are there are times when when your your British is very much on display. <laughs> I've got a flag. What am I going to do with this flag? I'm going to colonize somewhere. Colonize the moon. Oh, well, unless you pick somewhere there's nowhere li no one living already. And that's that's definitely an improvement. 
Oh my goodness. All right, we might be a little bit overshooting. Let's move in a little bit closer. Yeah. I may have overcorrected now, actually. I'm we don't really want to bit. hit the island. We want to be just to the side of it and then put the anchor down, don't we? Yep. Okay. Just as we get to the side. In fact, I'm going to unfurl the sail. Uh, sorry, unfurl the sail, rather. I think here is good enough. Right, so you just press E and then whoop, you yeet that anchor out there. You yeet it. it. It lands on the bottom. Wait. Right, there's lots of stuff and over here we're going to want to grab. Oh. There's What's no wrong? food on the grill. Uh, that Love is entirely it, my my fault. I do apologize. Oh. Hello. Thank goodness I came back. Oh, goodness me. Sorry, I was sorting out the cooking. That's okay. It was my fault for not having reset that. Yeah, I will... Um, I'll need to wait for that before I go. Uh, uh, have these been... Exploring. Watered, I wonder? No, they had not. That is I also possibly I only planted them two seconds ago. Oh, right, right. Sorry, I thought that was I, me. I had to harvest them to um to get the, a beet to put on the grill. Right, of course, yeah. Right, I'm going to quickly head up to the top of this mountain. What I would suggest is we go up here in turns, or, like, go scavenging the islands in turns. The yeah, reason so for that... The yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise, seals. Yucky Those scallywag well. seagulls will mm -hmm. eat our So seeds. I'm on scarecrow duty, basically. Yeah. I will bring back many great yeah. things, though. Uh, lots of planks, uh, coconuts, seeds as well. Not that we're going to be able to plant tree seeds for a little while, but... I think I'm just going to call the shark George, because that would just be really confusing. I mean, okay. Uh, right, there we go. I think that's it for the actual trees on the island. Now, there are going to be... Any like, mangoes or anything? Uh, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, uh, nice. got a watermelon and uh, Very nice. a pineapple. Here's the pineapple for you. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'll eat that right away. How are you doing for water? Um, okay. Uh, about well, Go ahead and drink. Water. I'll just immediately refill. Okay. Oh, thank you. Right. Uh, next then, let's have a look at what we can what we can build here. Now, I would kind of like to try and salvage some stuff, but to make shark bait, we need a pomfret and a herring and some rope. To be honest, Rope sometimes be a problem. it can be easier to just deal with the shark. Can we make beds? We can't make beds. Wow. All right. Uh, yeah, I need planks and some nails. I can make the scrap for a bed. Uh, oh, no, we can make a simple bed. Crap. There we are. Yeah, we need... Yeah. Oh, uh, we make lots of nails. Wow. Uh, yeah, we just need two plastic then. Have you got two plastic? Yeah, yeah. There you okay. go. I will pop down a simple bed. I don't know whether we'll need two or whether one will be enough. I have no idea, but we'll just pop well, one try here it, for now. Let's try it works in, in multiplayer. I'll pop it right above there. Now, the thing with the bed, I, I don't think it's going to... Like, I, maybe in single player would allow you to move from uh, night to day. But... At the very least, in multiplayer, it's how you resuscitate a downed player. I'll try and lay down on it and see if it does anything. Okay. Can't fall asleep during daytime. All players must be sleeping. Okay, so... so when it's proper, proper night, because I think right. the sun might be coming up, actually. Yeah, it is just um, this beautiful summer. But when it gets now. to proper night, if we have a bed each, I think we can turn it over to daytime. Really? Is the pillow a plastic container? It is indeed wow. a plastic I don't bottle. even... Very well. We might want to get better beds than that as soon as we Yeah, can. probably <laughs> probably a high priority, that one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, the next thing to do, then, uh, is probably to get a research bench up and running. Uh, that's just going to take some planks. Right, so did you want um, to try and scavenge the, the reef, or do you want to pull the anchor up? Um, 
Is there anything we can do? We can already make wet bricks, which is sand and clay. So I could head down there, and there's going to be stones. Yeah. If uh, we both head down there, the shark can only eat one of our butts <laughs> at a time. I mean, that, that is... You have... Hmm. Or do you want me to be on seagull duty? Uh, I will remain on seagull duty, but... Uh, I just love the way that you, your, your thought process was like, well, you know, it can only kill one of us. That's a that's a that's a very very uh, look. We will eventually defeat them by making enough bodies that they can't get past. Kind of mentality. We will defend the walls really? by by covering it with bodies, ours if need be. Oh, why is this all stone? Give me sand and clay, please. I'm just gonna try and manage my. Oh, if that if that shark bites me one more time, I'm dead. So then get come. up here as quickly as you can, because if you go down in the water, I can't oh, do anything no. about it. I'm getting in. Right, okay. Oh, it's okay. I hate my life. Don't don't hate your life. I've got you. No. Get away from our food. Right there you go. Rest and recover. Woof. Wow. That is a you hell of a bed. You saved my life. That's so cool. I was I was taking the mick out of this stupid pillow, but apparently it has ridiculous healing properties. My lord, <laughs> you've recovered from a shark I got one piece of sand attack. and a couple of stones for that. Death. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, you know, it's... it's not death unless you died, and you didn't die, clearly. Yeah, yeah, I just got knocked out. Yeah, totes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that that's right. That's exactly it. Okay, uh, foolishly, I should have watered the plants there. What's your hunger and thirst like now? Um... Oh, they're back to half again. Oh, okay. So they're actually better than they were before. Right then, Shark. You and me. You and me. You and me. Did I get you with that? I think I might have. Come in, Shark. Once again. The Shark has been beached. It's like in Valheim, getting the snake up on the shore. Come up. Come hither. Oh, that didn't hit him as hard as I'd hoped. I'm going to try and take it out. If I can. Oh, I need to let my... Can I help at all? Uh, we could probably take it out together a little bit more efficiently, yeah, but I'm not sure. Let me let it come a little bit closer. Come on, then. Come on. And... Oh, I flubbed that one terribly. I can't take another hit, so I'm going to get it out of the water. Yeah, you just stand on the land and take get, get a bit of extra health. Yeah. Your health goes up as long as you've eaten and as long as you're hydrated from the looks of it. Where is the shark? Yeah. And the fact that the water is so choppy makes it really difficult to place it. It's a lot easier to see it in the water. Oh, I found a seagull behind you. Now, if the reason why I was going for the shark so brazenly is because it is a lot of food. But... I'll just try and get up here. There we go. Well All right. Uh, are I you... watered the crops. Do you want to go for that beat? You can have that beat oh, if you, you want. Chomp. That's a good beat. All right. Well, we can make a move then. I think uh, cheesing the shark. I think we should just yeah, we should do do a bit of fishing and yeah. uh, and just take okay. a chill. So. And uh, we'll get the sand and stuff at another I island. Don't know which direction the we're going to be taken right now which direction the wind is blowing in what we can make oh. for that is a stream i can't i don't have the planks so well. i don't have the planks oh. either i've we'll only got two planks how many planks do you have uh no planks right, it so looks like this will to... yeah this will just take us straight up alongside so it's fine it's fine for now and you can kind of see by the the um the white things coming out the back of the raft sort of that's sort of Shows you yeah, where it's going. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. A bit. Yeah, actually, you're quite right. Right, there's a barrel over to the side. I don't think we're getting that barrel, though. That's okay, there'll be plenty of barrels. Yeah. Right, let's turn that to face roughly in that direction. Oh, no, wrong way. I'm really liking how our raft looks now, actually. Really? I'm glad. It's so neat. It's really neat. I don't know which... Oh, right, I see now. Yeah, that will unfill in the yeah, direction. No way. There we are. That's fine. I'm not actually going to unfill the, the sails. I don't think we need to, but it's good to have. Ready. Will I be able to catch that barrel? I might. I think you will. I think you're going to get it. No, oh, just die. Oh, it was an optical illusion. 
Oh, I felt like if I'd been two steps further along when I cast the line, I would have caught, caught it. The game wants you to feel that. Yeah, no, it does. It, that, it's that, a psychological thing. It is. This is like some sort of scene from Gravity. Get away, seagull. I don't feel like spearing you just yet, but I'm getting close. <laughs> Let's pop a little bit more beats on there. Um, I'm thinking actually getting a second cook spot would be useful for us. Yeah, um, I think let's that have may a... well be useful.